We're going to do a lot today. My plan is to finish the crown molding. As you can see, I started, but it wasn't enough. The next thing that I'm going to do is to take this off of the wall, as well as everything else that's still on the wall, including the only light in the room. And I just wanna paint everything white, including the crown molding, all the way to the ceiling so it's going to be completely white if all goes well and before i start painting also let me pause right here i did what i could i'm not a professional and every professional is going to say what the hell did you do to the wall but everybody who's just dabbling into you know, painting and fixing walls is going to say, this looks amazing compared to what it was. So I'm somewhere in between amazing and not good at all. And guess what? It's good enough for me. So we're gonna work with this. I pre-painted here. It was gray and now it's somewhat white, but I would like to give it another coat of white. And also I gotta clear the room cause it started to look like a legit mess. I just finished the crown molding. And, uh, things were unexpectedly difficult to get up and off and you know, measure it again. I was out of glue so I had to install another one and it wouldn't take so I need a new glue gun etc etc <laughs> so i'm gonna push through and i'm gonna start painting the easy wall and that is this wall because it's just straight so change of plan apparently paint can go bad i've had it for years i don't even know how long but i had two large buckets of white paint and it's really thick so i can't stir it i can't do anything with it I'm gonna have to throw it away and I have this small bucket of paint left. I'm gonna try and paint one wall, but I don't even think it's enough for one wall. But I'm going to give in to my intuition. I didn't feel like painting today. So I'm gonna paint a little bit, this one small bucket, and then I'm gonna take a long shower. And then I'm going to do some editing and other fun stuff, watch a movie or whatever. And tomorrow's another day. I'm gonna try and buy a bucket of paint tomorrow, tomorrow's Sunday, and if all goes well, I'll be able to paint the larger walls tomorrow and leave the tiny little bits uh, during the week. I'll do one wall each day, something like that, but I really need to take my time and not get it all messy. This is the paint that went bad. See how extremely hard this is? You can do anything with it. My goal was to empty this bucket. It's just a small bucket. And I, I covered this wall, covered this wall, and partially covered this wall. I didn't do the lower part, see? That's still a little yellowish. I didn't take a shower cause I am really dirty right now. <laughs> really, really dirty, so yeah. I already changed into my night clothes, which is a big mistake because I wanted to tape up the windows, but the tape is actually in storage. I'm not going outside like this. It's super cold. 
So what I'm going to do is tomorrow morning, I'm going to tape up the windows. And after I tape up the windows, I'm going to ask if somebody can bring me to the stores to get another bucket of paint. I finished, I can't believe it, but I'm done. I did it all in one day. Well, the second half I did in one day. Um, I kind of, I was kind of freaking out because the color that I got, the paint that I got, the second batch of paint was not the same color, absolutely not the same color, but I just went in and I painted everything over, even uh, the things that I already, even the wall that I already painted. So this is what it looks like. It's definitely not my best work, but it's so satisfying to know that the room is just white. And it's not really going to matter. This is a wallpaper. It's coming off a little. But even that doesn't really worry me. I'm so really proud of how the windows turned out. It's all white. I still have to see if I can open the windows because <laughs> I may have glued it um, shot with paint. And I also painted a trim and I painted up there. See, it looks a little flaky. But I guess it needs to dry. Now it's finally time to get my mattress out of the box. I think because it's rolled up, you have to let it just rest and, you know, fluff up for about 48 hours or something. I'm not really sure, but we're going to see. So this is part one. I really want to inflate the mattress for eight hours so that I don't have to wait to sleep on it. Now we're going to finish by putting the bottom of the bed underneath. I know it reversed, but who cares? So this is done, this is the bed. I did not use the feet underneath the bed cause I don't know, this is the perfect height for me. I may change my mind later on, but so far I'm okay with it so far. And now I'm going to assemble the lamp. let there be light so this works it's a smart 
light so I'm supposed to do the thing and adjust it hold on a moment so I think it's adding the light it's a process but once you do it see it's already added and then you can if all goes well you can adjust it the way I want to which is pretty perfect color see green blue pink I'm gonna go for yellow so I gotta say smart lights I was on the fence but it's really easy to upgrade your light gain it's a lot cheaper than getting a whole new light fixture system because I was planning to just turn in the bulb and you're done so this is the setup I'm kind of pleased with it because nothing else is gonna fit there so I only needed one more item in my bedroom and I decided on this instead of a nightstand I already bought it it's getting delivered in two days so there's no turning back well I could always return it but I'm really set on it the last part of my bedroom came today just now and I just finished work so everything is working out perfect this is the package it's so compact it's 25 kilos or more but it's definitely maybe 50 it's so heavy normally i don't blink an eye when a package is heavy but the, the guy who delivered it did not even want to bring it past the elevator so it's really heavy I'm gonna lay it flat and start assembling it. Here we go again. I love small packages because it means it's good for the environment. But on the other hand, I hate small packages because it means you are going to do all the work yourself. And this is what we're looking at. So I'm gonna find some really good YouTube vlogs. And then I'm gonna binge watch these vlogs while I go through how many P1 plus pages. I'm gonna go through all of this, check if everything's there, check all the screws, assemble it, and I will see you in a lot of hours. <laughs> yeah, I'm really kind of bummed because I'm putting this thing together knowing that maybe I'm going to have to take it all apart and send it back because a lot of the planks are kind of damaged but it's all on the inside so I'm going to try really try to put it together and hopefully it'll be really solid once it all comes together and if not, I'm going to have to take it all apart again and send it back. See, this is what I mean. They probably had to take it apart again because it didn't, it didn't use the right sides. So on the other side, this is just um, dust. On the other side, there's nothing. And also here, see? It didn't break all the way through it just cracked also here and here this one is the the worst and it's actually the top one so I'm just going to put it together and see here are some other cracks but not all the way through you can clearly see that somebody put it together and then they had to take it apart again. I'm starting to get more confident. I have to attach these two sides 
and then I only have the top and the bottom part left to attach the doors. I hate attaching doors. They usually have a space somewhere that I can get rid of. And then there's this um, bottom part that I need to put together. I think this is the bottom, no, this is the bottom. So the bottom part, one in the front, one in the back, and two on the sides, it's like a square that goes down there. But that's not really important. The most important thing is that this structure is pretty stable. I'm gonna attach these two sides and then the top and the bottom. I mean, knock on wood, we're getting there. This cabinet really was a challenge. It's six o'clock now. So this is it. It's not 100% straight, but I've been at it for half an hour and I'm content. See, there's a little opening here. And all of the cracks that you saw in the wood are on the right side. And when I mean the right side, I mean it's not on the visible side. It's here and it's down there. Places you don't get to see. So I'm definitely keeping this. I'm gonna put all my stuff in and on it. And then I'm gonna take a long shower cause I deserve it. What I love about this bedroom is that everything is low. Not super low, but low enough to notice that the room is actually high. And there is absolutely nothing on the walls. It's 100% white. It makes it also peaceful. It just gives you a Zen feeling instantly. The window covers are blocking the sun. So once they're down, you just, no matter what the time it is, you just feel like you could sleep.